Welcome, welcome to Daily Commitment. We do a little exercise, but we exercise every day. It's like 11 o'clock at night. I just got home. Uh, I was working a bunch, but then my son was working and I was giving him rides and then we had to do like some errands and all this stuff, but I'm finally home. I'm tired, I'm sore. I'm sitting in the car too long, honestly, not from like exercising muscles, but sore from sitting in the car too long, but it's time to work out because we're not skipping our workout. Um, we might take it a little easy on the workout, but we're not skipping the workout. So let's do it, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I had a, a viewer talk about the old days. I used to always say, let's go. I kind of missed that. I maybe should start doing that again. That was a lot of fun. All right, so we're here. We're going to do our Dippy Rudios. Here's our di dips first because it's already in dip position. We're just going to leave her leather jacket on because we're cool with a leather jacket. We're going to see how it feels. Oh, it's interesting. Sometimes you feel great when you stretch out a sore back that you've been sitting too long in the car or something like that. But always take it gentle. Always listen to your body. So here we go. All right, so we are going to get a little up to start with because uh, you don't want to have this too low, right? That'll strain you. It'll strain your muscles. So here's one, two, oh, three, oh, all the way up. All right, we'll just do three. We won't do four. Be gentle. We'll be gentle. I would like to do four, but I was definitely feeling like I was flagging on number three, so we'll just keep it, we'll keep it at three. Now we'll do the pull-ups. One, oh, get them up there, get them up there. Two, get them up there, get them up there. Now, we are gonna take the jacket off. We are gonna take the jacket off for the pull-ups. Can you guys see this? See it kind of just, bare? there I am. Hey, there we go. Took the jacket off for the pull-ups. We're gonna get a little bit of boost for this rubber band, but not much because uh, we are gonna have to bend our knees to pull ourselves up. But let's see if we get four, how we feel. Here we go. One. Two, three. I think we're just gonna do three. It's gonna be like the dips. Three's fine, three's fine. You were good form. I didn't really jump. Sometimes I cheat a little bit on the first one because I'm coming from a standing position. I didn't really cheat much on it. I did it pretty much straight. So this is a good solid three. Now we're gonna do some push-ups. Let's try push-ups, motherfuckers. All right, and some squats. So, we took the bathroom free today and we got our squat bar in the bathroom. So, we'll see how it goes. Let's get in here, throw Mr. Jacket down. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Time for some push-ups. Let's kick the shoes off. Shoes are off. We got this guy. We'll tell for the... Now, last time we actually did regular push-ups instead of knuckle push-ups. It's kind of interesting. I did feel a little stretching, a little tension in this one forearm flexor, but it wasn't bad. So we might go back to doing some of those soon. But we're gonna do the knuckle push-ups today. Oof. But uh, here we go. So we wanna make sure you can see everything. We're gonna come right under the shoulders. We're gonna go back about two inches. We're gonna switch to our knuckle push-up position. We're gonna keep our elbows back. We're gonna tighten our legs, we're gonna tighten our butt, tighten our chest. One. Ooh, that felt weak. Two. Keep it going. Three. Keep it tight. Four. Got a weird sweat coming on. Five. Maybe the food sweats. I don't know. We're just gonna do five. We'll keep it really light. All right. We do some squats. We'll do a little jump cut here. We're gonna toss some shorts on. All right, guys, we're back. We've changed the angle of the camera. You get this towel in the way that we just hung up after using to uh, do our things. And we got the squat bar. We got the squat bar. Ooh, just lay it across the shoulders. It'll stretch out, stretch that neck. Now this is by far the hardest exercise. Like those pull-ups are hard just because they're intense and I'm still a little weak. It's not like I can do 10 pull-ups or whatever. But I mean, it's just short. It's really quick. It's a quick little zip. And uh, you know, uh, this is not a quick little zip. This is a get stretched down there. Get that head tucked. Oh, come up for that first one. This is stretching all those muscles that we left tight and tense in the car. Oh, 
two. Now on my daily commitment walk today, you know, I'm doing a walk about three miles, sometimes a little more, but about three miles every day right now. I measured it this time. It's three miles. I thought it was like 3.5. It's three, but it's at least three I'm doing every day. And uh, oof, actually did a run. I ran for part of the way. And that's something I wasn't doing for the, um, for the walk at all. It was always just a walk at first. I think I'm up to like video 111 here, 112, something like that. And I'm telling you guys, I'm starting to build up that strength to where I can do some running where I don't think it's gonna hurt my knees or my ankles or whatever. You can really hurt yourself, especially with tennis shoes when you jog on concrete. Very easy to be fooled by the softness of the tennis shoe. And you can get yourself shin splints, you can do a lot of things. So I really prefer walking most of the time, but I think I'm building up my strength. And the jog felt pretty good, honestly. It was cold balls this morning and I didn't really have all my gear on. I was just in my jacket because I just started walking when I stopped the car for doing my morning errands. And I'm like, I'm not even gonna go inside. So I just started walking and it was too cold to just walk. So I started jogging to build the heat up and that worked really well. And I made it the full three miles, felt really good about it. But um, anyway, if you're wondering why I'm not counting these, I think I'm at like maybe 15 right now because I'm not trying to do a lot today. This is just, we'll say 16. We'll say we're at 16 here, something like that. Anyway, 17, just a real light day here. Just rocking through some squats, 18. And you know what, I'm starting to feel warmed up. 19, 20, keep the head tucked. Let's take, uh, speaking of, of, of being warmed up, let's take the shirt off. My gosh, I'm hot. Whew. All right, I think I've got my feet locked in a pretty good position. And I feel like I've stretched out my calves. I've stretched out all the things that need to stretch out for you to be able to squat position like that. It's really key is to feel comfortable down here. Just squatting, just totally cool. So let's do about 20 more of these and be done for the day. So we'll call that, I think that's 23, but we're just gonna say one. We're just gonna count to 20. Two, and we're gonna be done. Three, just a real light squat day, 40 something squats. Four, something like 40. Five, and tomorrow maybe we'll break our record of 100. Six, maybe we'll get to our workout before 11 o'clock at night. Seven, but uh, this consistency, eight, this challenge that you do for yourself every day. Nine, I'm telling you guys, it builds up. 10, I was talking to a real nice viewer who was saying, hey man, push yourself more. Give something, give people something to really look up to. I think that's fine, but I think there's lots of guys out there who push themselves really hard and tell people push, 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 push. And that's kind of not what we're doing on this channel. This channel is about more consistency and not trying to get there fast. And yes, you're pushing yourself, but you're pushing yourself to be consistent, to not skip days. That's what you're pushing yourselves to do. I'm telling you guys, we're not trying to win this race here. We're not even trying to be some super amazing, you know, like, oh my gosh, that's something no one can achieve. No, this is something everyone can achieve. If you get out there and do a little bit every day, might take you 10 years, but those 10 years you can develop these great habits and then there's no, there's no end working out. You're gonna be doing this into your 60, 70, 80, 90. The idea is to improve quality of life, not just how you look, but how your body functions and your discipline to get out there every day. I'm telling you guys, I've quit smoking, quit smoking weed, I've quit doing any kind of substances that would hurt my body because I've started taking pride in this discipline that I've done. And I'm only three years in. And we've already got great results. We've already got great results. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, I sure as hell couldn't do 100 put of squats before. That's for fucking sure. I, had to, I could do exactly zero pull-ups, zero pull-ups. I couldn't do a dip before. 
No way, man. And all those things are just gonna keep improving. Those are all my newer exercises. You know, I started with 10 squats and five knee push-ups. Not on my first video I recorded. I actually started the knee push-ups before I could record my first video, but five push-ups. And now, like I said, all those maxes are much higher and they're just gonna keep going higher. And I'm not gonna injure myself and I'm not gonna quit and I'm just gonna enjoy my life and I'm gonna keep building. And I think this is a great philosophy for anyone who wants to have sustained success. It's to sustain success. You guys keep at it, a little bit every day. Enjoy your daily commitments. See you guys next time.